Okay, I'm back, and we're going to do an unboxing. I'm not very good at editing, and I didn't particularly want to publish my address, so use a little painter's tape to cover it up. Uh, this is a nothing to really get excited about or anything like this, but this is a box from the rock shop, and that's always something to get a little bit excited about. There is a chance, and with me it's always been this way, that there's candy in here, and I'm all excited about that too. All right, so here's what I've done. I'm working on getting enough rocks ready to load up the 18-pound uh, Thumbler's Vibratory. And it's going pretty slowly, and I'm impatient like everybody else. So I have in here 15 pounds of Jasper, which usually, um, usually goes pretty quickly. I uh, wasn't anticipating this. It's some pretty pretty big pieces, but that's okay. And I also have 10 pounds of large ceramic, 10 pounds of large ceramic uh, filler because I'm going to need probably use a lot of that. And as predicted, Sean came through for me. There's my candy. All right, that's good. I like those little fruity ones. Those are nice. All right, so. Uh, the plan is, I just uh, went out and cleaned off the 12 pound and the two 3 pounds that are doing step one right now. And I'm going to fill them back up with this stuff. Uh, this bag looks to me to be especially promising. A lot of smaller chestnut jasper. Um, a lot of smaller pieces, and then I got some bigger pieces of uh, desert jasper. I'm going to fill up the barrels with that, and hopefully that's going to speed up the process. I am up to, well, I'm going to hold off on that. Um, I have a fair amount of rocks ready to go, but I'm going to, I'm going to kind of do something in a minute on that. But um, in this, this week when I was cleaning them off, there were a whole lot of rocks that were really close, like that were real tempting. Um, I saved one as an example. This one right here, okay, hopefully that focuses. It's, you know, it really looks nice. This is a uh, an agate of some sort, but it's got two little spots right there. And the thing is, if it, it, this is just me, I mean, a lot of people might be screaming, just use it! Okay, but if I put this in and I get it all shined up, and then I see those two little spots, I'll sit there and wonder why didn't I just keep it in step one a little longer and get rid of those spots before I went ahead and moved it forward. That's the, the big debate on step one. And basically, you know, I, I tend to solve that by not pulling it out sooner. That This looks like it's going to be a really neat rock. I hope that came through well. Um, okay, what, what I was going to do... I'm going to show everybody where we stand. I'm going to move this box. I'm going to come over here. And this is the Thumbler's bowl. Okay. So there's the bowl. This is what I'm trying to fill. Now here is what I have right now. This is all the stuff that I have that I feel is ready at this point. And that, you know, it looks like a fair amount. And it is a fair amount. That's It's more... It's more than I could fit in the lotto, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, especially if I wanted to have any kind of uh, ceramic media in it, there's no way I could get all this into the lotto. Okay, but let's take a look at where I stand on filling this. And see, the reason, like I showed you before, the reason I'm trying to do this is I got a, I got a real big one. This one, I might be able to get into the lotto, but I don't know for sure that I could get it out. And I absolutely do not want to have to cut open my barrel and buy a new one. And I don't want to have to run that thing for months to get it worn down enough to be able to get it out. So this is the point to having the thumbers. Okay, so we'll see how this fits. I have not done this. So I may be closer than what I thought, may not be, okay. and I think what I'm going to do is just keep these in here, and I'm going to add some water to keep them wet, well maybe not because i got to get that water out before I actually run it, and 
Okay. We're getting close. Maybe I will. I'll just keep them in here and keep them wet. And then when the time comes, I'll just have to get, get them all out, get the water out, and put them back in. Okay, so there we go. I would say I'm maybe, I'm probably not even a quarter of the way full. I'm going to pick the camera up, hopefully not make anybody seasick, but try to get a closer view of what I'm looking at that maybe, you know. So this is, this is where I stand right now. And I want to fill it to the top of that, that post in the middle. Okay, and I am, I do intend, I want probably close to 50% on ceramic media i plan to put a lot of ceramic media in there but i'm i'm really not to the point that i'm i'm ready to you know fill it up so that's where we stand hopefully in the next couple of weeks especially throwing this jasper into the 12 pound and the two three pounds uh within a couple of weeks i'll be ready to go then the next debate okay i'm going to kind of switch over a little bit move a little bit all right if I put the thumblers right in front of the two lower tone rotaries, is my shelf there going to create a uh, sound, an acoustical sounding board, and make the thumblers even louder than it already is? And then my wife might just beat me over the head or throw rocks at me or something like that. Uh, so I'm I'm debating whether I'm going to put it there or whether I'm going to find a place to put it on the floor. My wife has been infinitely patient with me, uh, not only buying tumblers and buying rocks and spending my time in the basement. And you know, when my 11-year-old tells me I neglect him because I spend all my time in the basement, um, but you know I don't want to push my luck. And those those tumblers are just about directly under the television in the living room. Okay, so when my wife is in there, I know she will be able to hear the thumblers. I don't think she hears the lotto or the, the rotaries too much, and she hasn't complained. But, you know, like I said, I don't want to push my luck. All right, so that's where I stand. Um, I'm gonna, today's Sunday. I'm going to get the, the rotaries going again, go another week. Hopefully I'll have a fair amount more of rocks uh, to fill up this barrel. Um, and then uh, when when the time comes, we'll run we'll run a batch of uh, batch in the thumblers. And you know, here's the thing: uh, anybody that's noticed that I started with the thumblers and I switched to the lotto, it was absolutely nothing against the thumbler. It's it does a wonderful job. It's phenomenal. It is loud, but you know you know that that's that's not unexpected. But it took you know literally I was doing like three batches a year because you know, which keep in mind I shut down in the winter but it took so long to get enough rocks to fill it that you know I just it my patience wore thin the lotto has one fourth the capacity of the thumbler and I you know I can fill I can usually fill it about every other batch so about every two weeks I can fill it up now one thing, going back to my old uh, videos, I can say this, I probably even then was un uh, underfilling the thumblers. So it, as long as I was taking, I still wasn't taking long enough. Uh, so if anybody's uh, noticed and thought that I you know, don't like the thumblers or wouldn't, you know, absolutely not. It's wonderful, especially, especially if you have a place where the noise doesn't matter. And if you have... You know, like if I did like Michigan Rocks and build a cabinet and I had, you know, six 12-pound barrels that I could run all at once, um, he could, he, that guy could almost go industrial in his production with rocks. Um, but I've noticed he doesn't, you know, and he's probably doing what I should be doing, which is, and I did this today, I pulled out a bunch of rocks that I know they are probably months away from being ready to go. I just pulled them out. And I'm going to put them somewhere, and then I'll use them as filler later on. And I'm, I'm going to fill up with new rocks, this Jasper, that I think I have a fair chance of having a good bit of it ready in a couple of weeks. So I think he does that so that the only stuff that goes... He, he probably does step one with an awful lot of rocks. And then what goes into the lotto 
uh, is the, the cream of the crop and it, and it shows in his results. If, if you've watched his videos, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and if you haven't, you should. And I've said in many of my videos, his videos are much better than mine. If you're into rock tumbling and you want to learn, watch Michigan Rocks. Keep watching mine. That's fine. I, I, I love it. But his videos are much better. He's, he's phenomenal. He's phenomenal. And that's where I learn most of what I learn. All right. Well, you have a good one. And I'll probably see you next week. And we'll update where we stand in terms of filling the thumbler.